Show me that smile, love. Show me that smile. Chuck wants us to mention Geisha. Just because of the last podcast. <laughs> you, why, don't you, why don't you mention Geisha? <laughs> Come in and mention Jared Geisha. Knows. Get, get, mention I'll the tell Geisha. the story. We can talk both into the same mic. I feel time. very <laughs> touching. What do you want to say? It's our story of what we're going to do with the here. Geisha. Here's the story of Geisha. You see the plant. Watching a lot of trolls right now with my daughter. Hello. Um, yeah, no, we're just going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it there first. That's uh, I'll fill you in. I don't know what else I could do for you. <laughs> this has been the Cat and Cloud Coffee Podcast. <laughs> we'll check you out next week. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Bye, Chuck. See you guys. Sick meeting, Chuck. <laughs> we did it. I wait for Chuck to leave to let the whole world know that when we said that Chuck was scheduled to be on these episodes, this is one of those episodes. Here's what happened. It's I forgot the, the microphone. It's okay, though. It's fine. But I, I actually didn't tell you to bring it. No, I actually totally didn't. I, I was thinking about it this morning, though. But I then was, I was like, he's got two microphones. We're dialed. We're fine. Yeah. It, it was actually a push to push Chuck out of the... We're just getting him out of here. Get him. I have the story anyway, dude. The story of Geisha. The story of Geisha? Yeah, this is the educational story of Geisha. You guys want to hear oh. all about it? Sorry. You're going to have to tune in when I care. No, let's talk about Geisha. No. Geisha? No, we have a... You're going to have to tune in when I care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back if when I give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> the story is, it's called Geisha, right? Geisha? <laughs> Get over yourselves. I typed it two ways because I was scared when I wrote the little right, the last the podcast the, with the E-I and just no I. Right. Because I know... On delay, on delay. E-I, E-I. I think, Jesse Krause, do you listen to this podcast? Because you really fucked me up, man. <laughs> Every time... It, get, it's actually Gesha and uh, there's no I. And it's also... What's the other one they talk about from Ethiopia? that we, I used to call it one thing and now I have to call it another thing. Kasha. Mm-hmm. Chefe. Now you're you're a chef. chef too, you're but then what's the other one? Oh, yeah, whatever, dude. None of these are fucking English words. Sadama, Sadama. <laughs> I hate it. I hate saying Sadama. I would never say it. Yeah, dude. I'm like, hey, uh, you got a nice uh, washed Sadama. Yeah, this Sadama's there. going off right now. Oh, it's beautiful Sadama. I feel like an asshole saying. So. I feel like like I'm talking to a uh, like a, a a wino who's like, well, actually, it's a Sadama. Sadama. Which I guess they're not wrong, but I still am annoyed by them. So I hope that we're some of the other world feels. What that espresso way too. machine do you use? Oh, I don't know. It's a Yerga Chef. A Linnea. A Linnea Strata. Do you guys have a Linnea Mina? It's a, it's a small Linnea. So yeah, we're doing something different with Geisha. It's basically what Charles was going to have us talk about, but we were going to talk about it. So we I mean, got a Geisha, but we're not going to charge everybody up the ass just to be able to experience it is really what we're doing. We're going to put it out at basically cost so that the experience can be shared by all because we're not really like you equal rights, dog. And if you want to hear about why we're doing that, there's a whole Chuck cast episode where Chuck talks about the thought process of it. Right. But it's going to be in the cafes on tap. Yeah. So the, it'll come on the Friday prior to uh, Christmas Day. So I guess that's like the 22nd of December. There's and we're going to roll my, it. Something in my tooth. There's something in your tooth? Yeah. You can't see it. Sorry. You can't see it. 22nd. But <laughs> this ball. <laughs> It's it's chill because of this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll come in for that week until we're out and we're going to have it um, on tap, which is also kind of a fun thing. We took inspiration from the donut shop. We talked about that story yeah. and we're actually going to do, uh, you know, for like 25 cents more, you can get one of our single origin coffees. And that week, that single origin coffee on batch brew is actually going to be Geisha. So might as well come have Geisha on batch brew. We're also going to can have we espresso. It? Oh, we're going to do it as We're going to put it as Great. espresso as well for That's, that week alone. That'll be tight. Until it's gone. So it's going to be the same cost as espresso and then like 25 cents more than a cup of coffee. Chill. Uh, a cup of the answer, which is always on tap. So I'm pretty excited about that. And That's going to be badass. I don't know if you saw the story of it. It's kind of interesting that Aleko essentially smuggled in SL28 and Geisha to all these places. And yeah, that's kind of gnarly. Yeah, one of the places it stuck was Columbia. He's like the real Todd Carmichael. Yeah. Is that? <laughs> I think that's actually his Instagram name. <laughs> Aleko, the real Todd Carmichael. Twitter, Aleko Chagonis at the, <laughs> the real, real Todd, Todd Carmichael, Carmichael on Twitter. <laughs> that is dangerous You want to talk about grounds. real dangerous grounds? I've you been wanna... smuggling for real. Good, good for you, Aleko. Aleko's... <laughs> 
the best. Aleko's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Dude. I remember the first time I hung out with Aleko was in at this bar in Portland that was around the corner from like where the Albina Press used to be. Which one? Oh, man. It like was, in Mississippi? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The original Albina Press. Yeah. Like, so I think it was on Mississippi and this was a long time ago. That's North Portland, y'all? No po. Is it Nopo? Northeast Portland? Yeah. 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 Northeast no. Portland. I don't know. Yes. Northeast Portland. And I was with Billy Wilson and I worked for Ritual, I think, at the time. Or no, maybe I worked for Verve. But anyway, it was Billy, Aleko, and like a bunch of other Stumptown people. And because he was buying at Stumptown yeah. at the time. And we were talking about competition. And he was, he knows that I work for another roaster because we'd talked a bunch of times. And he's just like, what are you going to use in competition? You're going to use Hairbender? And I was like, no, I got something <laughs> else. He's all, too bad for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's all, if you want some real good coffee, let me know. Hook Hit you me up. up, dog. I got the green. Yeah, I could, I could kick you down. He's always been a pusher, man. Yeah, he's a pimp, dude. He he's knew, a pimp. He knew he was fucking with me outright. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like thanks i'm like a kid yeah he's funny too he's like a legend i'm like thanks for fucking with me still a ledge dude especially yeah he's two legends now at the real todd mark mike mark, mark, real real todd, mark real todd markovich do you hear that echo thing is it happening right now no it's not it's probably a tumor it's, it's not a tumor <laughs> it's not a tumor who is my daddy and what, what does, does he, he do? do well your dad is a lecco and your name is todd carmichael man how's it feel <laughs> <laughs> release the dragon what are we doing what are we We're even the doing <laughs> best time ever because i did two podcasts i did one with chuck and did, then one with alex here and now here we in are video format so i haven't done one with you this is the first time and the energy camera. is different oh yeah 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 that's gonna happen and this one i only have one camera because turns out freaking three cameras times one hour of it's a lot of high, high quality video takes up a lot of storage space. High quality video. I need to get more cards. But we could just be heroes right here like this. Hero Go Pro. Be the hero. Be insane. So what's happening in our world? It's the holiday season and Santa Claus and doop de doop. Well, what that else? Thing, that thing's still in my tooth. Bro, there's nothing in your tooth. You see it? Oh, there's something in your tooth. <laughs> it's there. It's white. I think it's what I'm you're... I'm not editing not this out. No, you don't need to edit it out. Make some sick noises in the mic. So you, you guys hear this? Barf. Oh, man. Somebody will barf for sure. I think I spit on the mic. You definitely drooled. It dropped over there. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> it's like a gleek and a half. Holiday season is crazy because, well, pers on a personal note, my birthday is in December. Yep. Jenny's birthday is in December. My dad's birthday is in December. Jeez. And then all the family stuff that goes along. So you've been busy? With that. So that's been Sheesh. pretty exceptional. Yeah. <laughs> That's, you're all cool. I'm, and I'm busy every week. I'm supposed to go back home tonight to watch my nieces play, but Jenny's kind of sick, and I think I'm gonna. I'm dreading calling my mom to tell her that we're basically not gonna. She's gonna cry on the phone. She's not gonna cry, but she's just gonna be bummed. Mm. But I'm going next week or the week after for Christmas. For Christmas, right? Which maybe is this week by the time. Maybe this is the Christmas special. <laughs> I don't know. You're welcome. You <laughs> never can tell. <laughs> you are welcome. So there's that. I just got back from Disney and my current inspiration is how well they merchandise things and sell things without it being, it's like in your face, but appropriate somehow. And how do they keep that place so clean with millions of people in there? I think in your face is fine. Right. As long, as long as it's classy. Yeah. There's some, there's some, it's, it's always funny. They're so smart. Every single ride you go on, they like suck you in. They're like, man, best ride ever. And you walk out and they're like, if you liked it that much, you could have like a Han Solo shirt right now. Right. And you could like keep that experience with you. <laughs> you <laughs> could so pay crazy. for a picture of this or a picture of that yeah, dude. or do. Yeah. It was it's funny. It's cool because you're, you're the, like at that level, they're not selling the thing. Right. They're selling the feeling of it's the It's always the freaking selling the memory of the feeling of the whatever it is. Make me a memory <laughs> if you would fabricate a memoir can you fabricate fab 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 it was pretty fun to so alex came to yeah Disneyland. i saw that picture <laughs> tanner and alex <laughs> oh can you send that to me oh yeah i'll send it to you dude. dude i got some great pictures i'm just gonna flash it in the middle of this video. Oh, okay yeah i was gonna say i was gonna put it up to the cam but you just do oh, that that'll be better. like, like as you're listening to this i'm gonna be zooming zooming i'll zooming, send a few pictures of alex i'll put, there's a sick one of all of us on um 
Oh, no, there's one. Sarah Shirley came for a minute, and there's a picture of Sarah Shirley and I on Space Mountain, and I'm just ripping it up. How about that picture of her at Origin? <laughs> I know, dude. That's clutch. Hard barging. She's like, killing it right now. So, she's like, Shh, what's up? She sent me a text, and uh, Sarah Shirley is my admin assistant and one of our, our certified human beings here at Cat and Club, but she kills it. She's in Colombia right now, and she said it's been an epic trip. It's like salsa dancing at night, picking coffee during the day, She's looking for new farms and cafe imports. Salsa. Salsa. At the yeah, she's been doing it, meeting the peeps down there. She has a, she took a video of some guy like moonwalking in the cupping lab. <laughs> it was so sick. Was it you? <laughs> no, dude. You could also put that video up for people too. Moonwalk would be clutch. Flashback. It's only like a fifteen second video. It's pretty easy. I wonder to how watch. many we could probably put that on the cat and cloud and see how many How many views we get? Yeah, probably get a couple. I can moonwalk extremely fast. You know, I'm as I'm thinking, I should probably down like pull the original one in one video off of Vimeo and Repost re-upload it. it to YouTube. Yeah, we should do that. With that two thousand ten timestamp. It'd be smart to do when we were beginnings it out. yeah you might have to chop up that video so it's not a minute and a half of i'll make a shoes. redux <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah we could refilm it we, we could, could do both refilm it and then put the other one behind it we could just do it could be a time capsule a then and now right yeah for sure and then and then how we've progressed since then and now and how wheels are turning we, yeah guys. this is a brain wheels are turning. Storm. like an epic brainstorm so it's, alex though disneyland one of my favorite things is to just watch him get his mind blown because he's all he's like pretty analytical in his mind and he's like figuring things out well in his facial expressions while he's doing it oh, are dude. just ridiculous oh what happened i don't know everything is off oh it's just the monitor i think you unplugged it with your knee it's just a headphone monitor. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, Chappy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Um, but he'll do this thing where like he's watching something. And I'll be like, oh, man. And he like won't move. I'll be like, oh, cool. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> like all these cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, wow. wow. He'll, he'll do that one a lot too. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, but we went to this thing with the, the kids. It's called Turtle Talk with Crush. What's and Crush? Crush is the turtle from Finding Nemo. Okay. And you basically go into this room and, you know, there's like a huge screen in the front and it's interactive. So like the turtle like comes up and there's like a hydrophone. There's this whole thing and whatever. But he like talks to the people in the audience. Is that where they used to play like Captain EO? No, it's like a new thing. It's in California Adventure. And the dudes, the people who play it are so good and so funny. We went twice and it was like a completely different show. But this show, Tanner got called and the turtle like talks like a surfer. He's all, hey, what's up, dude? What's up, bro? Like, yeah. And the Tanner didn't raise his hand to get talked to. You're supposed to typically like, and he's all, this guy, he's all, what's up, Tiki Tiki Tanner? <laughs> he like goes off and he does this whole thing. And there's, there's a part where he like does a speed test later on the show. And he's going back and it's been like... Like how fast the turtle runs. Yeah, like how fast he swims. He like does like a speed test. And he's like swimming away and the guy's all, this one's for you, Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> but he's got like facial expressions and the whole night. And he just like engages with the crowd. He's all, he's all, yeah, I made him talk to the turtle. He didn't want to talk to the turtle, but Tanner had to talk to the turtle. <laughs> Tanner. <laughs> it was pretty funny. He got punked. We should just start calling Tanner turtle. Tiki, like tiki on Tanner. Tiki, tiki, Tanner. <laughs> it's the Tan Man, Lego Man. But the same copies. thing, dude. We got out of there and Alex is all, dude, I was like looking all around that room trying to figure out like how we got the like the facial expressions and like how they could see all of us and just it was crazy. A billion cameras <laughs> yeah. and like a bunch of weird people behind the is. scenes. Yeah, oh, I'm sure it is. He's all, he's all, yeah, first guy, third row, kind of towards the end with like that white colored shell on, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's like a white shirt. It's funny. That's that's pretty There's just funny. so much crazy stuff. It'd do. be fun to see behind the scenes, like it, uh, like how they pull it. Yeah, just like their production style. Like when you see behind the scenes, at like a basketball game, and you right. see the dude directing like the 18 cameras, and he's like, "Cut here, cut here, cut there, cut there" for live TV. So it's hardcore. probably like an intense version of that. I think so. He was, yeah, he was pumped. It was funny to see, and then just Alex walks away from that thing, just like melted because you're making a little movie as you go every time there's like a little director there's actors you know you got voiceover actors every like half in hour the moment yeah it's pretty gangster. and they have to be on the fly which kind of blew my mind because when i saw it twice i was like this is it's like the ultimate basically championship. Like, totally like two-thirds of its original every show it'd be super fun to do something like that i'd love to take like super 20 fun. 20 cameras and like a live show just get 
freaking ridiculous you with it. You probably pull it at Cat and Cloud. Probably. Yeah. We could use like some 360 cameras. So like, what's your name, What's dude? your name, dude? <laughs> if we could do that when you go to Yelp and or whatever Google profile and you see like the Google Live. Oh, yeah. Like, let's say you clicked on the photos of Cat and Cloud, but it was actually a 360 video of some dude who is just like, I don't know, like Caroline walks up to the door and it's like, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> like the video follows sure. you in and you're just like, whoa, like I'm here. And it can, since technology is super fucked up and you have no privacy at all ever, it can like read where you're at and what your thing is. And it's like, oh, I know that you're into skating. So you should check this out over here. We have this. We should do just have coffee with us. Yeah. Like you can have a hang. Right. Just a chill hang. <laughs> you guys want to have a chill hang with us? <laughs> it's a pretty chill hang. It's been a pretty good hang. It's been a pretty good <laughs> hang that's actually not a bad idea we could do like coffee with chris i'm coffee sure with someone's, Tanner. someone's coffee working with tina. on that right now tina mama tina dude mama t <laughs> mama tina from down the street dude she'd have coffee with everybody misdemeanor yeah oh tina misdemeanor elliot tina, tina misdemeanor misdemeanor what's her last name ratliff missy <laughs> missy elliot ratliff hyphenated t tina misdemeanor ratliff uh i don't know how i tangent it oh, i was just thinking about alex that's what happened well, you're thinking about what was going on in the past oh like, yeah couple I, knew, weeks. I did the thing we had like a lot of birthdays you went to disneyland we sent cheryl's to columbia cheryl's to columbia we launched some waffles downtown waffles and geisha and coffee and and then we're going into the holidays next week and i guess there's a lot going on yeah i mean it's been busy yeah we're gonna move into the bigger roastery soon that's supposedly a month and a half like off. Like January, we'll be in a, a bigger roastery, which will allow uh, officially a real back room at the Portola location. That'd be amazing. And a real roastery. And a real roastery for, for the people who roast her for Grace and Chuck. <laughs> like, and uh, they're stacked in there yeah. just in time for the rainy season. It's a scary place to be. It really is intense. Oh, yeah. It's tight in there. Alex and I were talking about it, like, dang, dude, it's gnarly. Yeah. I apologize, even though it's not our fault. <laughs> it's just how we are. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing that we can't even function because the business has grown enough to where we can't even function. Yeah, just over a year. I'm proud of that. Yeah, super. It's a nice little goal. It's a nice little win. You can high five yourself, and now we got to move on up to the east side. We do to a deluxe apartment in the sky. In the sky. <laughs> oh, you and I are going to go to Colo and Holo and Colo and Holo. Halone. That's not true. We're going to go to the Hondo and Costa, ha Hosta. which I'm very excited. To I've never been to either year. of those places. I've never been to Hondo, and I love Costa, as I've, everybody knows. I've only done Guat and Colo. I think this is going to be your favorite origin trip yet, Chris. Why? I, I don't know. Because you love Costa Rica. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I'll be there for you, dude. Friends. I was listening to some lady talk shit about Costa Rica over Thanksgiving. Was she rich? Um, Aren't all white people, though? There you go. But She's uh, a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no uh her husband's in the military and they move around a lot mm. and we were talking about costa rica and i was like oh yeah i've never been because i started talking about coffee and i was like they do a really good job with their tourism yeah and she's like that's why i hated it felt like i was in disneyland it was all fake and i was like well i mean <laughs> can't be fake if that's what they do <laughs> would you rather and then again i don't have any first-hand experience but i was like that's cool would you rather have it feel a little fake and have them make money and live or would you rather have it be authentic impoverished com like country right. where nobody has any money and like more people are going hungry yeah i was like they're also about to be carbon neutral in like 2020 and they have no military and it ain't tricking if you got it. you just pimp what you got like, you know what i'm saying <laughs> and like, they have water you can basically you know, I got drink this like, like drinking let's, water let's capitalize on this there's nothing yeah. wrong with making money off of tourism and setting stuff up for people to buy things yeah it's like a different so that no different one, place yeah it's chill well, i get what she's saying but i was like well i don't know looking at it from both sides i mean the funnier thing is really what she's saying she's all i wish it was more poor and it'd feel more like an authentic well that's what i'm saying poor. yeah, yeah. I, totally i was like yeah you should go like your flip side wherever yeah and yeah totally i don't i don't even actually identify with that because it's like that's actually their authentic culture they created so I know what she's trying to say, but I think she's trying to compare it to something that's not real for Costa Rica. Well, she's right? like, you should go here. Right. And that's more gritty, basically. Mm, she just wants the grit and the grime. I guess. That's Which I, I, can, I can relate to that. Yeah. For sure. If you I could get if that was the, the real experience. Yeah. That's all. I don't know. I want dude. the freaking real experience. I just want whatever. Like, Pura Vida, Show dude. me what you have. 
That's Pura cool. Vidar. Pure life. <laughs> Pura Vida, dude. All Pura day. My dad's going to Costa Vida. Rica for a brief moment. He's gonna really? Go, he, well, it's like he's going to install a, some security cameras or <laughs> he's going to go on a cruise <laughs> and they're going to pass by Costa Rica on their way to like the Panama Canal or something. And do they get to take the drop top Saturn with them? And he's just going like, to roll out hard. <laughs> he's like, all, Fuck yeah. Racetrack. Like mullet in the breeze. I on roll cruise hard ship. though, dude. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Yeah, he's cruising to Espiritu somewhere. That's what he called it. He's all, I'm going to a farm called Espiritu. And I'm Espiritu. like, totally it's like a tourism farm it's for sure a tourism yeah. farm because that's how you find it those kind of farms you go on the internet and you're all coffee costa rica and they're all go to espiritu that's pretty good yeah 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 which how did i get there costa rica we're going to costa rica and going to costa rica <laughs> i was like wow for no apparent reason we're gonna yeah we don't even it doesn't make any I sense it's whatever we're gonna take somebody with us to costa and we'll take somebody with us to hondo to see ben Hamin pause which i'm really excited about and he's a previous guest i'm very pumped about going in there because we have a bunch of world exclusive coffees from there. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying he fucking better show me a good time, dude. I, I like yeah, I'm not trying to be disappointed. I mean, I mean, we had that connection. Can't let your brother. He's down, gonna dude. take us to the lake that I've been told by multiple people is one of the most beautiful places it's where you fall in love. Yeah, <laughs> the mist of the Pajarica. Where did he ask you to marry him? He took me to the lake. The lake. We went to the lake. He went to Jared. He and went the to lake. Jared. And then he went to the lake. <laughs> exactly. That's a great combination. <laughs> That's a free relationship advice for you. Yeah. It's proven to be long lasting. Do you go to Jared at the Galleria and you'll be set. Dials. <laughs> I don't even get a promo for that. I just like the name. They're not a sponsor. <clears throat> Curtis is a sponsor, though. Shout out to Curtis. Yeah, those guys kick cornhole. I saw Brant at Disneyland. That's. I feel like you've seen him at Disneyland a couple times. Yeah, I, I've seen him and Peter G at Disneyland. Oh yeah, that's and right. then I saw the French pressers, you know, Julian Todd and the Dooners. That oh, were sick. they down there? Yeah, they like getting they, away from the fire. Cross. Yeah, there was like a lot of cross fading at Disneyland that week. A lot of cool peeps. I saw Bear there from Onyx. Serious? Not this time, but last time. Huh? I know, dude. It's, that guy is like meeting of the minds. He's like really making his way, you know? Yeah, he's he's crushing it out there with some fam. He's got the look, dude. But Brent Curtis is awesome. I was happy to see him. He's a cool dude. He's a great guy. He want, he's trying to get up here once he's done. He's got so much going on, though. Multiple Brent. kids, business, champion of freaking masters. Come visit, bro. I know. We'll you, have a good time. You can try coffee off your own brewer. Oh, dude, it brews coffee. Think about that. Holo well. It brews it so hard, and it's a nice blue color for us. And um, we use it all the time. You yeah, put that's, a filter in it, and you grind the coffee. Poseidon Green. You push the button and then it comes out and it's delicious. And I know that because I had some yesterday. That's one of my favorite things to do is push the button and have the coffee come out. Then I drink it. It makes that little... Oh, yeah. When it's, yeah, the thing clicks down. Safety first. Yeah. Yeah, I so burned you myself. Kill yourself. That's, that's such a great invention because on Christmas Day one year, I burned myself and had blisters all over my hand. I've done that a bunch of times. Terrible. Gnarly. Worse than just hot water for show. Oh, yeah, because it sticks to you. Yeah. It's and like then it 200 degree off, mud. And there's like these boils. Uh, yeah. And then I think the grounds like hold some heat in them. So oh, yeah. hit your skin. Like who's it? Kelsey. Oh yeah. That happened to her. French press like all over her arm. Yeah. That was super That was chill. fucking gnarly. <laughs> it's gnarly, dude. <laughs> I felt gnarly. so bad. I was like, holy shit. That was not at our shop. No, 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 no. Our shop is, although Barbara did spill some, some boiling water on her leg once. She was fine. We sent her home immediately. Got her some aloe. But she almost ripped the pants off like in front of everybody because she was like in a panic. I was yeah. like, totally. I was like, everybody evacuate the back room. Brittany's, Brittany's going to be here with you and you can derobe. Safety. <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Safety's hot. Yeah. If somebody hurts himself at work, you have to send them home. Yeah, you have to and, take care of them. And make sure they get appropriate medical attention if they need. Yeah, don't be like, you good? Don't be like, I think you can finish your shift. <laughs> I know. So fucked up. I know. She felt so bad too. She said, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, why are you sorry? You spilled water, hot, hot water on yourself. There's, you don't need to be sorry about anything. Sorry about having a blister. Yeah. Like... <laughs> she was, yeah, we were, we acted so quickly. She didn't have like, she was fine by like a few hours later, but she just, she crushed it. It was awesome. Yeah. But yeah, this, Heck yeah dude. I, I no feel chance. so bad that for anybody who feels like they did something wrong when an accident happens. <laughs> No, and, it unless happened. it's like overtly ridiculous. Unless you've, they yeah, know better. You've created a situation where yeah. like an accident is going to happen. Yeah, like where they're like, well, I'm going to put my mouth directly under the espresso machine and take a shot 
directly in the mouth and it's like 3,000 degrees. I feel like I've seen people try to do that. I believe that's probably happened somewhere. Or like when people are pouring latte art into other people's mouths, I'm like, you better check that milk temperature first. Like, ah, ah, <laughs> it's, like, it's like waterboarding them with hot milk. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm trying to win. Exactly. I'm trying to win. Who was it? (laughs) We could probably do a sick video. (laughs) I feel like Dapper and Wise, you guys should put out a video on that. Please. Graham, you hearing this right now? Waterboarding. Did you guys? Latte boarding. I know you maybe or maybe didn't see that we're all up for spreadies again. I did. So, like, if you like it, you know what to do. I was like, uh, yeah, I felt conflict. I haven't I told know. anybody about the Sprudgies, and I'll tell you why. Um, last year, we were nominated for Sprudgies, yeah, both for the podcast and then myself for the video. And Best New Cafe. And Best New Cafe. We got second in Best New Cafe. Which is That's cool. awesome. Yeah. We got second in podcast, cool. And too. second in podcast. The video one really fucked with me. Not, Gilmore Girls? N- yeah, and that's why. Yeah. Not because I think I should have won, but... I felt like however the awards or the competition or the voting played out, it was being nominated again this year. It's just like not something that I can participate in because it's not really supporting people who support specialty coffee. Mm. So, and what I mean is this, you've got, let's just take me out of it and make videos, whatever, right. but let's take, um, Dapper and Wise right. makes like really cheeky, fun, Super and funny. fresh videos that kind of they, they just make fun of specialty coffee in a fun way that people can relate to. Yeah. So it's entertaining for people who are in coffee and it's also entertaining for people who don't know anything about coffee. Right. And then you have Sasha, World Barista Champion, who makes the Coffee Man video where he's like fucking at origin and he's like chronicling is it's like an actual film right like it's a micro it's a micro biology <laughs> yeah. and if somebody watched that you could learn something about the process of how coffee works how it's harvested how like you go through roasting it and brewing it and pulling flavors out both of those sasha and dapper and wise made things that are really really useful to our culture yeah and then the bulk of the people who were voting in the competition decided that gilmore girls should win so that's fine, and I'm not saying it's Spredge's thing because, as far as I know, the voting is just like public. Whoever it's, wants to vote, vote. It is, but like those type of people who are voting in that are not supporting the culture, and I think that's whack. I'm not. I'm super thankful because nominations are open, right? So whoever nominated me, thank you so much. Like everybody that watches videos, I freaking love you. That's awesome. Yeah, but I'm not going to go on platforms and be like, vote for me, like all these asks, because it feels kind of corny totally. when I see what's being rewarded, and it's the Gilmore Girls. Yeah. I don't know how the Gilmore Girls are contributing to specialty coffee culture. Yeah, I saw Unless I'm missing episodes. something. No, I don't think you're missing anything. It was described to me as they go to a coffee shop and hang out. Well, so did the Friends. Which is chill. I would vote <laughs> Joey, for Friends, maybe. Joey, Chandler, I'd vote for Friends for sure, <laughs> friends. dude. I would vote for Monica. Monica, dude. Ross, dude. Rachel. Rachel. Joey Tribbiani, dude. Get him a sandwich and get him a spreadgy. Okay? Come on. So I'm happy to be there. Yeah, yeah. The nomination people nomina- means a The lot. nomination means a lot. Totally. It really does. So if you nominated, and even if you already voted, dude, I thank you so much. I just can't justify being like using up this space. I also was thinking about Alex and I talked about this a lot yesterday because we were talking, we made a marketing video for our exclusive wholesale accounts Mm. and we were talking about the idea of service and the idea of service in your social media and in your marketing to where it's like some people use marketing to show what they have. Like, Hey, I have this, check it out. Don't you think it's cool? And I think that's kind of bullshit too, because if you're, we're all in service focused industry, right? Our end goal is to make people's day better. And if you work in coffee, if you work in food, if you're, you know, like a stylist or a barber, like that's kind of like your end goal. It's not really, you know, if you're a barber, your end goal really isn't to make the best haircut. It's to have that person walk out the door feeling like a boss because mm. they feel confident. They right. feel awesome. It's service, right? So 
service should be present in social media as well. And the things that we're putting up and the things that we're doing should make people's life better. And the example we use, if you look at our Instagram or something like that, you've got a picture of something like, you know, Sam and Nicole origin. And it's not like, Hey, look at how cool we are. Like this is origin, right? It's like, we've established a culture that rewards the people that work for us. We've set up systems to where everybody can go to origin. Everybody gets to be a part of this big thing. And that inspires those people to work better and change your lives at home. Right. And like, this is an example of what you can do in your business. Take this and run with it. Make your life better. Yeah. I mean, they're or, directly contributing to your experience as well. Yeah. And connecting seek, to you. Seek out these opportunities for yourself. So I feel like when you're posting things on social that are like, hey, vote for me in this thing, which we've done before and it's cool, but like, it, and I, it's okay to ask for things, but it goes too far sometimes. Yeah. Where I feel like it should be about who's watching your feed and not necessarily about yourself. Right. I guess. I mean, it's okay to post about yourself because it's your own thing, but like, on the whole, if you're a business, totally. I, just, I just don't like it that much. Well, yeah. I mean, if it's only about serving you, then it's not really that cool, I guess. To right. Us, right. It's got to, there's got to be something deeper in it. There's got to be something deeper in it. What's I feel that. So I don't know. It, I was just on a rant. No, I, I totally feel that. I mean, we were talking about, you know, getting the staff more and more connected to coffee. And one of the ways that we wanted to do that was be able to send them to the origin so they could connect with it and they can come back and talk about it. And I think that there's something special about that. They got hired because they're already good at making people's days better when they interact with them all the time. So now they can just do it with more confidence and more connection to why they're doing it too. And yeah. I think that's really cool. And but in I sharing that enthusiasm with people, you get them psyched in coffee that you wouldn't get just from, I don't know, like normal barista interactions. Right. Because it's one of those things that boosts you up. You're like, oh man, dude, I went to Costa. It was crazy. Right. And they tell everyone about it. There's a deeper connection to the process. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. I feel you. I so, totally feel you. And I I even felt the same way about like when I saw the podcast. I was like, that's awesome. There's a lot of also great, you know, podcasts out there. I was on DeFario's podcast, The Keys to the Shop, and I really like Chris DeFario a lot. And so yeah. it was just like I was happy to see him nominated. His work is, you know, out there. He's getting nominated. That's really, really cool. And he does such an amazing job. And, you know, there's just a lot of good people in coffee and Sure, if we win, that's fantastic, but we have such a good following anyway that it's not going to make or break our egos, which is very cool, too. It feels yeah, good to chill. know that it's great. I believe in what we're doing so much so that the reward isn't necessarily going to change that at all for me. No. Yeah. Yeah, the recognition is nice, but it's not like, yes, now we did it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is for me, too, is it's like I already all the people who are theoretically going to vote for us already know who we are. If, right. you, if that makes sense, right? So, like, maybe some of the people who see it, if we won, will be like, oh, I've never heard of the Cat and Cloud Coffee Podcast, so I'll go check it out now. And the value really is in, like, growing in that way and, like, reaching a larger audience for me, not the recognition of what we're doing. Totally. Right? And I talked to Jenny about that, too. I was like, I kind of want to promote it a little bit. Right. Only because it might be exposure to new audience and people can get some useful stuff out of the things yeah. that we do. That's where I would feel so I was excited. Like, oh, but then I was like so torn. The Gilmore Girls really fucked me up, dude. Well, yeah, because nobody knows that. Like, They're not... Okay. I think what would be the most annoying is like, who knows them? And did they even care that they won? Or, you know, like they're a non-factor. I'm just wondering... Or who, maybe they did. Like, who voted for them? Is that the specialty coffee community speaking out and saying this is the most valuable content that's being produced in the industry? If it is, shame on you, Because if it is, like, that's the, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can't be a part of that. That's or, like, fucking, maybe we're not in specialty coffee It's fucking gnarly. All. Or is it that, the, like, Gilmore Girls saw that, made one post, and then they have, like, millions of followers, and then people are just like... Ooh, like maybe it's people not in the industry voting. Mm, which I sounded like 3D right mm, then. Mm, mm. That sounds cool in these headphones. Welcome to the uh, coffee ASMR video. It's uh, Jared and Chris, and uh, we're here. To <laughs> do you want me to put on a binaural beat for you guys? Let's get a binaural microphone going on. I wonder if I could theoretically put a nice binaural beat in the back of this thing. Can we do some ear to ear stuff? Ooh, do I look cool? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is sick. Wait, you could probably do the ear to ear thing on one of these, right? Well, yeah, we'd have to we'd have to do some pan. Actually, <laughs> maybe what I can do when we record this is I'll just throw a little left right in the like, whole time. Post. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, like, whoa. <laughs> 
phase it in and out. Be Somebody's tripping. driving. They're like, Whoa. someone's like barfing. Like, Whoa. I can't handle this crap. I don't know what's happening. Binaural beats. Yeah, I don't know if they work, but they work a little. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Scientifically, they're not necessarily proven to work, but they're also like potentially could work. Who else got nominated for Spreggy? People made who did coffee stuff. Don't yeah. you know? Like, I looked, I listened to the, the cast. The be- Scrooge cast. Yeah, because DeFerio <clears throat> tagged me and because I was on his show and he had gotten nominated and then I found out that it, he said congratulations to the other nominees and then I saw everybody who was on there and voted and some of it I didn't know, which is whatever, and some of it I did. What did you vote for? Like, what was the most memorable thing you voted for besides DeFerio? That was the... <laughs> <laughs> which obviously we voted for ourselves i didn't vote yet i sorry chris totally jared sold you out vote yeah no but i didn't vote for him because i voted for our podcast yeah, that's what I said. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i don't remember best new product oh no, was no, no. That a narrative coffee uh, i voted for maxwell mooney because he was the best new coffee shop oh cool and i was stoked for that um yeah i can't remember the rest the video thing voted Her- from a dog Herg tamp no uh best new product no I, what, what did was I vote there for? there's like that sock brewer what did i vote there was for a in the sock best? brewer i voted for some best new product dude i'm gonna pull it up yeah pull it up stay tuned stay chris tuned. is gonna head over to the thing and then he's gonna come back here hey guys enter chris back. and he's gonna pull up his macintosh apple computer with a Pentium processor. I can't wait till everybody writes in and be like, you were just talking shit. And now you're going to see what they're trying to do. And I glanced at the ballot, but I haven't, I haven't looked at it deeply yet. So I'm really excited to kind of, to kind of look at it. Now it's just fun stuff to do for the industry. Log it on. Log it on. We could do what they do and stuff. Best Twitter, Instagram. Wait, what the heck? This dude? is just nominees. That's so just... now they're putting up the nominees. Oh yeah. Best Instagram is like, um, Wait a minute. Where's the whole freaking thing? There, You have to like go to vote. What? Yeah, do like spreadge.com slash vote maybe. What the heck? Where's the link? They didn't make it easy. I actually found it from somebody else who posted it. I think, oh, uh, Cherry Street got nominated for Best New Cafe too. And I was back and forth between Cherry Street and Narrative, but <clears throat> Best I'm going to go cafe? 10. Oh, Spreadge Awards finalists. I'm going to go 10 to 1 call out that Cherry Street's probably going to win that one. Best New Cafe? Yeah. Because of popularity, I do believe so. The food was good. I though. did when have we a ate great there. It was really there. good. I mean, it's it's a both end. So best, best new, new cafe. cafe. There you okay, go. narrative Cherry Street, Love Supreme Portobello. Well, in Dublin, Portobello. It's a mushroom. Is a mushroom, which is awesome. Yes. Is it also mean something in the real world of other cool. languages? Probably. Cool man. Probably something that we don't. I know, know. what Nemesis Coffee means. It means watch out, bad guys. <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of you, but that's what I thought. I'm really sorry, but that's he how I feel. He is my nemesis. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, watch out, dude. Coffee's my nemesis. Is this the nemesis? the nemesis? This dude. is the nemesis podcast. Center coffee. Oh, yeah, we had some, yeah, soul. Best new product. December dripper, the sifter, bro coffee maker. Staggy KG. Yeah, young and the spoonless. <laughs> I voted for Dapper and Wise. Oh, yeah. Cafe Imports. They make funny stuff. They do make good videos. They're pretty funny. But there was a lot of slobber in that one. It kind of grossed me out, so I didn't vote for it. Oh, the Cafe Imports one? Because it's the cupping one. There's like the drool. Oh, I don't know if I looked at that one. If that's even the right one. What I know about uh, running coffee shops, I voted for because Colin has just oh, been Colin. amazing forever. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm wrong about that video about this cupping one. Oh, it's one. got Meister. Meister's the best. L- is she wearing a robe? You know what? She also had a video. Um, It was actually, I might've voted for Meister. I voted like a week at my Disneyland trip because she had her video, I believe. Whatever, bro. You don't have to vote for me. It's fine. New York. What? You didn't write a book, Chris. I'm just kidding. You didn't write a book. Oh, wait. She wrote a book too? Yeah, dude. Oh, I was talking about her um, Young and Spoonless. No, no, no. She's on the thumbnail. Wait, there's, is that the one with Dapper and Wise? That's the Cafe Imports. Oh, one. never mind. I voted for you on that one. If you're, I thought there was another video with Dapper and Wise. If you're listening to this on audio, we apologize because this is going to be super confusing. Yeah. Yeah. It's magazines, it's packages, it's designs, it's podcast, Instagram. Best Instagram. 
what does that even mean? Yeah, none of them made actually. I, it's like, well, and then they put Twitter and Instagram together, and I com- I feel like they're completely different platforms. They're hella and, different yeah, platforms. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. So Twitter I, even, is I honestly like, don't think I even voted for that. I think I didn't vote for a few of them because I was like, nah. Like, what do people even talk about on Twitter? Different stuff than on Instagram, hopefully. Yeah. And it, I mean, Instagram's so visual. Yeah, it's you know. like... If you're talking about the same things on Instagram as Twitter, I actually probably don't follow you. And Twitter is just ridiculous sometimes. I actually don't do anything on Twitter anymore. I stopped I stopped being on it because there's enough freaking minutiae in the world. It's just so much noise. I just, yeah, there's an, I mean, totally. <laughs> and then Outstanding Achievement of Excellence. Yeah, excellence. Excellence. Who? Dang, dude, I don't know, man yeah fuck i'm closing this computer <laughs> <laughs> well in other words that's that's your uh that's your spreadgy finalist wrap up we did an awesome job that's on that. what i thought i gotta tell if you <laughs> <laughs> that's what i thought these are my thoughts on the yep it's cool man oh man I, yeah it, i know i know you know you know what i, I want to see people ra- i want to see just probably no no metric for this. I want to see like the hard worker award. I want to see someone get a trophy that nobody knows about that has just been busting their ass, like the Young Guns Award or something. I don't know how it works. This is a half. Complete, it's all annoying. I know it's a half complete idea. I'm thinking about the person who's 22 who Taylor Swift. I don't know about you. <laughs> Feeling twenty two. Everything will be around you. Keep me next to you. Dude, I love T Swift. Shout out. No, the um who eats, sleeps, breathes, coffee, gets up in the morning, works on their shift, like cups after work, and then writes a blog to introduce people to new coffee. I I don't know. Education. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to K Chion. Yeah, someone like that. Or someone who's just like doing their own weird shit that's killing it like that. Shout out to Matt Farrell who got eighth dude. at the Cup Tasters competition. Eighth, dude. That's His name's Matthew Fuel, everyone. Matt, he got called dude. as Matt Farrell. Actually, I think they called him Matt Farewell. <laughs> They're all Matt Farewell. Farewell. Eighth place. Yeah. See you later. They actually called him up as third place, too. That was the best part. What the fuck? Yeah, they're all third place. Matt Farewell. And then he got up and got his trophy. And then... There was a mistake? It was, yeah, it was like eighth not even close wait what yeah that's gnarly dude i know i watched it and he got cheered oh for and everything gosh. and i text him i was like good job farewell and he's all I, I i didn't get third i know people for sure beat me they like took it away yeah dude that's heavy yeah matt's funny as fuck dude. yeah funniest guy he's out the there. best funniest guy out there k shout out to k yeah k, k got, got fourth. fourth yeah yeah great job dude qualified he Made. gets by the semifinals i'm gonna vote for k and can i write k in yeah, dude. Spread your awards. You've been written in. You've been written in. So I'm not sweating it either. I can't vote for the train because I vote for him in every other way in life. <laughs> it's just too much. Sickest cutback, the train. It's too much time. Sickest name after a rail vehicle, the AKA train. the train. Shark versus shark. Shark mm, and shark. Michael Mulch Stetson. Check out the shark and shark mugs. Separated from by the Dune Pacific. coffee. <laughs> but what's an ocean when you're just two sharks? A playground that's what i'm saying that's dude. The you can get to each other <laughs> yeah that's our uh, that's our holiday wrap up i guess yeah like what do you, what else do you do with the holidays i don't you know 50 percent of the time goes into eating food that makes you feel gross and I'm it tastes great definitely bloated i'm not right now but that's because i just i'm not i've been snacking like an idiot also <laughs> <laughs> i've been needing to watch my weight my waistline it's- is bulging it's the, ho- it's the holiday season it's just it's just big i've had the crave to snack and i don't like this feeling of waiting for the new year to start i really don't like that it almost feels you get that feeling i sometimes do yeah waiting for the new year you know like the tail end of december and you're just kind of waiting for january you're all, when's q1 gonna hit and i gonna hit the business i don't like that everyone's thinking about refreshing and anteing up and doing these things and it's just i don't know new year's is the most overrated bullshit it is the most overrated thing ever i i never have a satisfying new year's experience they're always like it's gonna be the best actually the most satisfying ones are the ones i don't do anything 
Yeah, you just chill. Just like hang out with your buds. Just have a kick. You don't even have to stay up till midnight to be cool. I went to bed last year. For sure. Oh, yeah. It was like 1140. I was just tired. It was so close. And I was like, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to cool. get up and feel good tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get... Well, that's the thing. Mornings are so much better than nights anyway. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> you're not doing anything, dude. Nothing productive. No, I just Unless not. you're an artist, then you might be drawing. Yeah, there's some good art stuff that can happen late at night. But, but if you're a I'm regular person... Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Yeah. If you need to get... Yeah. Anyway. 5.45. Get it cracking, dude. It's the holiday season. It's the holiday season. He's coming down the chimney. Leave him milk and leave him cookies. And don't you dare miss him in it. Did you know that Santa Claus is actually up for sexual harassment like every other male in the United States? Wait, which one? Uh, the one that gets ladies to sit on his laps and ask them if they're naughty or nice. Oh, that one's for you. <laughs> was that off the cuff you wish i had a vlog uh was no it? i heard that somewhere <laughs> i mean i use all of my stuff off the cuff i don't know where it comes from it just comes from <laughs> i just wherever. retain a lot of stuff it's like it's like a um it's like word association and then i just fire it off i think your brain is like that um the fucked up one no <laughs> the machine that's in the restaurant with the claw where you just you put the quarters in and the claw goes down and you're just trying to grab like the Picks most the random shit and you don't know what's gonna come out. It's just like something, dude. The claw is gonna get you. <laughs> like no matter what the context, you just like fucking dig into that thing. We were talking <laughs> and then it comes out. Brittany was. We were talking on the way home from Disneyland. We listened to the podcast about how your brain like takes in only as much as it can yeah and she goes i think your brain has the capability to take in way more than it's supposed to she goes mine like shuts off and i like go gray and don't remember the stuff and yours always like remembers too many things and it makes you crazy i was telling alex i was like yeah i remember when i met jared the first time like first couple of years i thought he was like the funniest craziest guy and like he was making up all this crazy shit and then like i didn't know they were all like movie lines and <laughs> Like things from songs. You just apply the never nuts. Just like plug them in. I'm going to plug them in here. Plug this one in here. Brittany finally got like, Monica. 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 We watched. She'd Monica. never seen the original. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. oh, Edwin. this money, dude. This is yours whether you win or lose. But you get this. But one. if you win. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> so you had never seen it. And I was like, oh, that. And I didn't even remember that's where I got it from. It's so that's good. the weirdest You're part. You're just saying it. Yeah. Like, like on the real. And it was like, oh, that's where I. I said, I said it out loud to her. I was like, oh, that's where I got that. <laughs> so yeah. I, I, uh, but you know, that's what genius is, right, guys? Just repurpose, <laughs> reuse, recycle. I don't know if that's what genius is, but I it's think cool. Beethoven was a copy. Beethoven? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Beethoven? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's what genius Beethoven is. Beethoven was a genius. It's like one of those, like... Truthfully, that was a quote, too. Somebody used that. What's that said thing? something about geniuses, like, only reuse other material and learn to use it in their own way to do it, make it original again. That might be cool, but I don't know if it's genius. Shut up, I don't Chris. know what genius is. I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's like genius a thing when people... Genius is an app on your iPhone. Oh, yeah. It's Siri's cousin. Yeah, it finds us the music we need. When people say, what do they say? That um, the definition of insanity is doing something over and over again, expecting a different result, which is not the definition of insanity at all. <laughs> but it's like become, because right. it's like it's this pop culture thing. I don't know. <clears throat> well, guess Bang what? your head against the mic, Peregrine Took. This, this looks is going to change the game. It's going to change the game. It's going to change the, the overview game. overview states that 50% of our business will be done in Santa Cruz. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> shame on you shame on you yeah do you guys want to hear about our wholesale plan i'll tell you there's eight thousand plus that's it <laughs> so <Okay>. there <laughs> it's done dude what's a one business tidbit we can give to round this thing off like a business tidbit yeah like what's a tip uh i actually wrote this somebody asked me to write a thing so i'll say it because i'm currently inspired by it when you are feeling like you're theoretically stagnant and you're frustrated because your dreams aren't coming true. Just remember 1% growth over a hundred days is a hundred percent growth. And you might, you might not notice it until you hit a hundred. Keep plugging away, which is awesome. Keep plugging freaking away. I have to remind myself of that all the time. That's a whole other podcast, a whole other thing. 
That's another one of those things that I also don't think that that's mathematically correct, but the sentiment no, 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 still no. stands. No, it's definitely. It's like a statement. <laughs> it's like a belief. It's definitely not 100 days, but 1% or growth it's like, in like 100 different things in your business is like major growth is the idea. Yeah. There's no just, math behind that at all. Oh, yeah. I was just talking about like if you improve 1% and then another 1% on whatever your total percentage is. Are you going that, exponential? That end percentage won't be 100%. Will it be a thousand? It might be a million. Oh. But it is a good It is a good tip. That's the tip. It's a good tip, That's to, my tip. to get going, keep going, and make it count. Make that little tiny growth, that little tiny growth. If you improved, if you, you're if, doing the right thing. If you did better than you did yesterday, that's good. Yeah, that's man. super good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Man, that was a great podcast. Best one you ever heard. It's Same. the best podcast you ever heard. You might as well fucking vote for it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Same. How's that for a service-focused attitude? What if I stood like this the whole time and I was like, what's up? I don't even know if you're in frame. Oh, I'm in frame. Time. That's Maybe. a GoPro Hero 9. Yeah, I got it set on linear, though, not super what? wide. There's a linear version? Well, you can go... <laughs> you can go wide super wide or you can go normal and then you can go what they call linear which kind of takes out it's the same aspect ratio but it takes out the fishy eyeiness it's still a wide angle though for sure all i'm thinking about is double wides now <laughs> i'm gonna go with a super wide you could probably get in there I think my dad's got a super wide he converted it into i think a, it's a an modular. ultra wide it's, a, that's ultra, like a, it's basically a, a home yeah well it is it's yeah. a modular home it's a, it's a big home Man, you guys learned so much cool stuff today. Yeah, Jared's dad lives in a trailer and is going on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Two cruises. He's <laughs> been around the world in 50 days. I made that up. He's going to he's gonna disprove flat earth theory for you. It's oh, yeah. Be, um, he's like, I kept cruising on the cruise and like the ocean stayed flat for shiz. We went right to the end, turned around, <laughs> came back. <laughs> Wasn't tripping at all, dude. At all. Not even a little bit. Columbus couldn't find it. Columbus was a ditz. <laughs> All right, dudes. Well, I don't know what to say anymore. I, yeah. just, I could definitely riff because I feel like I'm on TV now. I got to poop. Oh, yeah. Uh, you should deal with that. All right, bye. Shock. <laughs>